Hey there, here's Jan from Dovo and today I want to show you how to implement Alexa in-skill purchasing into your Alexa skill with the Dovo framework. In-skill purchasing allows you to sell digital products by using your Alexa skill. So uh, since this was introduced, it is possible to make money with your Alexa skills. And we offer a written tutorial about this and also a template. And I'm going to walk you through this process step by step in this tutorial. And so first, let's take a look at the template. Our template offers an easy way to get started and to use the um, Alexa in-skill purchase integration that the Jovo framework offers. And you can download the template uh, by using this here in your terminal. And we, we will do that right away. Um, type in Jovo new, and then I will call it ISP demo, and then template Alexa slash ISP. Okay, after the NPM dependencies are installed, let's go to our project and open it in the code editor and take a look. Okay, so there's a few things we need to do um, to, to make it work. And so we, um, we have some updates already happening here. Um, so here are a few intents that we added that make it possible to get started quickly and to to sell items and to look if people have already um, purchased those so we will take a look there what you also need to do is you need to as you can see here with this input product name you need to update the language model that people can actually say buy this and that product and um, this is happening here and and then also you need to add products and this was until i think last week only possible through the ask cli by using these templates here which we prepared but i will walk you through the process uh, on the alexa developer console and so to get started let's first uh, deploy this to the alexa developer console and take a look there and as always you, you can do so by first using jovo build and so this will create the platform specific uh, folder um, for your jovo project so if we take a look here in platforms now that was newly created and here the alexa skill folder you can see all the information here that's important here so the the, the alexa interaction model for example and so now that we have the platforms folder ready we can type in Jovo deploy to deploy it to the Alexa platform. So this will create the Alexa skill project here as an endpoint. My Jovo webhook URL is added and then we have um, the interaction model that is being built, but we can already take a look at the developer console. And so if we go to the Alexa developer console, um, you can find ISP demo here. And so let's take a look. In terms of interaction model, you can find several um, intents that we added. So we have a refund uh, skill item intent, for example, um, return this and that product, I want a refund and so on. So this is important to support that. And the buy skill item intent to buy something. So I want this and that product. And um, here both reference the slot type product name or the, the, the slot product name, which uses the slot type product names and you can find that we have two products here for now and so this is our demo this is just you can purchase a frozen sword in in some sort of game and it's important for all the products that they are part of the language model so can that pe that people can ask to buy those products and ask to for refunds for those products and what we're doing here as well we're using uh, certain ids and so if this slot is triggered we're then using the id to make it easier for us to search for those um, as a product reference name but we'll take a look at this in a minute okay so the the build was successful and it's enabled for testing okay and so this is the first step so um we could test it now but the thing is we uh, we first need to also um, add those products to our alexa skill and until recently and you will find that in our tutorial as well uh, we would have to um, go to the platforms folder to the alexa skill folder and use the ask cli um, to create projects um, ourselves and then deploy them by using the cli and so we have a few templates here so the frozen sword here which we were talking about needs certain information so it always needs a name a summary a longer description icons sample phrases so there's actually a lot a lot of stuff to put in there 
and uh, a lot of stuff to manage in a JSON file. And, and this is why Amazon introduced um, editing products right in the developer console, which can be quite handy. And I will, I will show you how that works. So, so let's use this frozen sort product. Go to scroll down and go to inskill product. And this is currently empty and we can create a new inskill product by clicking here. And so we will use the reference name frozen sword. There are three options we can choose. So we will use an, an on-time purchase, which is an entitlement. So people can only buy it once and then have it forever until they return it, for example. Then there's other things like monthly subscriptions or stuff like that. And a consumable, which you can buy or sell to allow users to buy certain hints in games or stuff like that. And so we will use this entitlement here, the one-time purchase. Okay, so this created a product ID and has this frozen sword reference name already. And now um, we need to add all of this information and this will take a while. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy the stuff I have in here. And so this is why when you already have this stuff ready, it's, um, it's actually more comfortable to just use the SQLI, but I think for, for starters, it's great to just update the content here um, in this visual interface. And so I will be back when, when I have this ready. Okay, so I added all the information here and so um, updated some images, um, added keywords and all of that. So all of that is necessary, unfortunately, so it's not very easy to get started. It takes some time, but now we can save and continue. Okay, the next step is to add pricing options. Uh, we will go with the just 99 cent list price and then add something like, I don't know, software, for example, as a tax category and continue. Test product as a testing instruction. Okay, and now it prompts us to link the frozen sword product to the, uh, the skill in skill purchase demo. So let's do this. Okay. That's it. And so we now have frozen sword as a reference name and can try it out. And so let's, let's do this. Let's take a look at the code next. If we go to our source folder into app.js where all the logic is happening right now, uh, we can find um, the buy skill item intent, for example. And so this, um, asks if you take a look at the language model again, you can find the build by skill item intent is used for people to say buy frozen sword, for example. So this will get the product name. And um, as you can remember, um, we use the ID um, to match the reference name, frozen underscore sword. And so here we, um, we can access this by uh, accessing the ID of this input. And then in the next step, uh, we can use this with Alexa skill dot in skill purchase dot get product by reference name. So we can access this product, then make a purchase decision here if people haven't already bought this item. Okay, let's let's take a look um, how this works. To run the Jovo local development server, type in Jovo run and open the debugger. And let's try it out. Alexa, open my money making test app. You can buy an item saying buy product name or refund an item saying refund product name. What would you like to do? Buy frozen sword. Do you want to buy the frozen sword? Prime members save 19 cents. Without prime, your price is 99 cents plus tax. Would you like to buy it? Yes. Great. You now have frozen sword. Okay, so that was it. And uh, as you can see, all of this stuff actually happened on the Alexa side. So what our skill returned was this here. You can buy an item saying buy product name. But then after that, that was um, all, all that happened was delegated to the Alexa skill. And, uh, and Alexa asked all of the information that we use in, in the product description, like if you wanna buy it and so on. And so, and that's it. And this is how I purchased my first item, um, Frozen Sword. And in later tutorials, we can take a look at other stuff like refunding skill items, the on purchase handler here. So we could actually 
um, after the purchase is done, we could do some more stuff and some more data collection and all of that. But we'll take a look at this in later episodes. Uh, see you soon. Bye.